I'm not supposed to doubt that if money is the reason why you want to become a content creator and you're in Nigeria, hmm, that's a slippery slope because money rarely comes immediately. back to my channel my name is Cassandra I am a content creator based in Lagos Nigeria if you're a new subscriber welcome to the family welcome if you're an existing subscriber um, you're an OG shout out to you for sticking around and always coming back to watch my videos on this channel we talk about everything lifestyle beauty fashion and everything basically uh, in today's video I'll be talking about how to start your journey as a content creator based in Lagos Nigeria so this doesn't only um, this is for everybody basically you can be anywhere in the world where well, i'm speaking and i am you know to get to nigeria because i've lived in nigeria all my life and i'm a content creator in nigeria so i kind of know how it works here that i know how it works anywhere else but this i'm sure that all of these things that i'm going to say applies to any and everyone depending on where it is irrespective of wherever it is that you are in the world so the first thing that you want to do if you're starting your journey as a content creator is to kind of figure out what it is and like the motivation like the why why do you want to become a content creator like what is your reason is it because you have like so much knowledge about a particular thing like you're very fashionable i want to share it to the world is it because you want to make money from it because you've heard that there's like money to be made from content creation is it because you feel like you're a field expert at a particular topic you feel like oh you have like so much uh, knowledge about marketing or so much knowledge about finance and you want to start talking about these things and in that actually makes you create all right so knowing the why basically helps you you know even start this journey right so i'm not supposed to doubt that if money is the reason why you want to become a content creator and you're in nigeria hmm, that's a slippery slope because money rarely comes immediately but it will come with like a lot of hard work and consistency but money should never really be the main reason why you want to start you should really know why it is that you want to start i really think that a good place to start from is wanting to share the knowledge it is that you have and your creativity with other people the next thing is for you to figure out your strength and what it is that you're really good at right what kind of content it is that you believe you'll be really good at so um do you think that you do best as a lifestyle creator or do you feel like you do best as a fashion creator? Do you think that you have so much knowledge about tech that you do best um, discussing gadgets, their features, and all of those things? Do you feel like you'd be better if you're um, doing beauty and discussing skincare and makeup? You know, figuring out what things that you're really good at and kind of content you want to create would go like would help you a whole lot and make this process or this journey much easier for you, right? So if you think that oh you're more um, you're better at beauty content or you're very good at doing makeup and you want to start beauty like content creation and you know that oh okay i want to do beauty so i need to have you know makeup products i need to have mirrors i need to have you know a reflector a good camera i need to have good lights blah 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 basically like knowing what it is that you're good at and what it is that you want to begin will help you know what gadgets to buy or equipment you need what you already have and how you can properly utilize them the next thing you want to do is decide what platforms you want to create for now you already know what you're good at you already, you've already figured out what kind of content you want to create but now what platforms you want to post this content on do you want to post on youtube do you want to post on um, Twitter, do you want to post on TikTok? Do you want to post on Instagram? Do you want to post on Snapchat? I don't think anyone creates specifically for Snapchat, but I mean, there's that. So deciding what platforms you want to create for will help you determine what kind of content you want to create. It will also help you further determine the um, equipment that you need, the kind of tripod you need, if you need to buy a camera, if you need to use your phone. But the truth is that for a beginner, there is literally nothing your phone camera cannot film for you like as a beginner like it's when you begin to advance that you cannot think of getting a camera but if you can afford one now that's just great but at, like when you just start a phone camera would do justice as long as it's a good phone with good megapixels you're good to go so um determining what platform it is that you want to create for is such a game changer right and remember that you're a beginner you don't have to be perfect at anything so once you decide one or two platforms you want to start creating for stick to them for a while when you get the hang of it expand more to other platforms creating for so many platforms at once may confuse you and you may not get results that you're looking to get but starting with one will you know 
we hope you make the process a bit easier. The next thing you want to do is do your research, like figure out what other creators on the platform you decide to post on and the niche you decide to go into are currently doing. There are influencers or content creators on Instagram that do lifestyle and post like a bunch of mini vlogs that do so well. And on TikTok, they're trying out uh, beauty or food or, you know, fashion. So um, once, I mean, you've already spoken about figuring out what platform you want to um, produce content for and then, you know, figuring out what it is that you really want to do. So look at creators in that niche, see what they're doing, how they're doing it so well. Most of them have tips and tricks that they share on their highlights, their stories, even on their page. So look out for this kind of content, take down notes, emulate what they are doing well, their editing style. Um, you can, you know, if you already have an editing style you want to go with, that's great. If you don't, you can emulate what some of your content, your favorite content creators in the niche you're trying to get into are currently doing. And it will help you so much and help you grow like way faster because there's so many people that have done it to be ahead of you and you don't have to struggle anymore because like there are resources that are easily and readily available for you to you know read or watch and get into next thing i want to mention is that you have to be very very open to change so um you can decide that you want to become a lifestyle creator but you along the way you realize that you're really really good at doing your makeup or over the last couple of months you had let's say an acne breakout and you've gotten really really into you've gotten into skincare so much you have like a whole stash of skincare products where and then you have like different routines that you you know you've walked into your skincare routines morning afternoon weekly routines whatever and you can now start to get into like skincare content, beauty content. So be very open to change. Because you started with lifestyle doesn't mean that's old as you should do. Personally, I'm doing like more stuff myself. I'm not just doing, uh, I started with just fashion. Now I'm doing more lifestyle. I'm adding a little bit of beauty content here and there as well. There are beauty content creators that are doing more lifestyle than beauty itself. So be very, very open to change. Don't be very adamant on, oh, I must do fashion and that's it nothing else must change be very open this even helps you you know this helps you more because it gives room for a lot of collaborations paid collaborations right so if you're very fluid you kind of content that you create you realize that lifestyle brands are reaching out to you um fashion brands are reaching out to you beauty brands are reaching out to you because you've not you know stuck to one thing you've allowed yourself to be open to change yes it's important to start with one thing and be better at that thing that you started and then you know get into other things but be very very open to change do not be rigid because it's not going to help you in any way next thing is find a community of content creators that are in a niche that you are um, trying to get into reach out to them collaborate with them if you can and um, speak to them ask questions people are very very open to answering questions you'd be surprised there are a ton of people that have reached out to me via Instagram and are asking questions for DM and I've answered them. I mean, there's some that I don't see, unfortunately, but that's the ones that I see I respond to. And it's the same thing with a lot of content creators. A lot of content creators have asked me anything polls on their Instagram story where you can ask them a bunch of stuff and they will answer, you know, right there and then, right? So it's super important that you're open to, you know, making new friends in the industry, collaborating with them, getting their ideas on stuff, asking them questions or uh, you know getting feedback from them because the truth is that you need a community you cannot grow without a community this community will refer you for jobs this community will refer you for gigs this community will help you grow this community will point out mistakes that you may miss and you know because they've made those mistakes before you can easily point it out to you this community will help you even with um things like haggling and getting uh negotiating you know budgets for paid partnerships right so it is very important that you make friends or at, at least acquaintances in the industry that you're trying to get into. Next thing is to create a content strategy or a content plan for yourself. And this is very, very important. Having a content plan is so important. It gives you a guide as to where you want to go. And this is not even just for beginners or new content creators. This is for everybody. I have a content plan that I constantly update because, you know, it helps me not it helps me be more organized and not scrambled all over the place right so i know the topics that i want to touch on youtube for the next couple of weeks i know the reels i want to create for the next couple of weeks because i i had you know ideas wrote them down somewhere transferred into my content plan for that broke them down and those ideas developed into like you know proper solid details 
that I can now work on and create content for, right? So having a content plan and also developing a strategy for yourself helps you achieve the goals that you intend to achieve for the next quarter or the next one year or the next couple of months. It's also important to know that having a content strategy or developing a content, a content strategy for yourself helps you itemize your action plans, how you intend to achieve those goals you set, the, the deliverables that you set for yourself, right? So having a content strategy is very different from having a content plan. If you want me to talk about like the difference in these two in another video, please let me know in the comment section and I will touch on this. For the content plan, there are a lot of templates out there that you can either download or buy. I bought one from another content creator, Pasheda. Uh, drop the link in the description box and you can also get one for yourself because the one I got for myself was really inexpensive. I think it's 5,000 Naira and it is very, very helpful. I'm using it a few days. I don't think I need to buy that one next year because I can use that same one next year, right? So um, investing little money in things like content plans will actually really help you as a content creator. Next thing is finding out what kind of gadgets it is that you need. For starters, I would say that it is very important to have a tripod, a good source of natural, a good source of artificial light, uh, figuring out where you have the best natural light in your apartment or in the space you intend to film, and a good uh, camera or a phone with good camera quality. These are like the top four things that you need to start creating content. You don't really need way more than that. You don't need a laptop, you don't need a, um, yeah, you don't need an iPad. You need these major things. I mean, having extra things can help make your process like way faster or way better, or even improve, improve the quality of your content. But if you're just starting out and all you have is maybe your phone, that's great. Get a tripod, get a, um, a ring light or an LED light and look for where you have a good natural light in your house, turn on the lights in your apartment, and you're very good to go. Lastly, um, everyone says start with what you have, but I'll say put your best foot forward. Start with what you have, but start well. Because the truth is that people are not going to you know, enjoy your content, or engage with it, or even share it if the quality is very low. Start with what you have, but start well at the same time. If you have an iPhone, make sure you clean the camera very well. I can't speak extensively about the cameras of other phones because I've used an iPhone for like the past five years, right? So ensure that you always clean the camera lens, always film with your back camera because that improves the quality of your content. Ensure you have at least one or two sources of um, artificial light, right? And then always ensure that all your windows are open, there's a lot of natural lights coming into your apartment, you know, and then that will really aid and help you improve the quality of your content. So um, start with what you have, but please start well. Lastly, start creating, do not hold your content. Even if you think it's not great enough, still put it out there. You can only get better by putting it out there and then seeing what mistakes you've made. So you made one mistake in one video, you know not to make the mistake in the next video that you're filming, right? Or next video you're creating, or next video you're taking. So put your content out there. When you feel like you've grown enough, you can start to archive or delete them, but to not add content, the only way to grow is by constantly creating and putting it out there. So start creating. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, no hesitate to ask me in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer. You can also um, send me a DM on Instagram. My handle is going to be in the description box. You can shoot me an email and I'll be very glad to answer all of your questions. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.